Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3617 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 36 moves to clear out 84 jelly. Now about a week ago, this would have said probably around 42 jelly, or maybe not quite that much because <laughs> here's the thing. It used to be that they counted the number of squares and gave us that as a jelly. Now they take a look at how many actual layers of jelly are on the board. This would count as a single thick and this is a double thick. Regardless, we've got to clear out all the jelly. And that's going to be tough because we have got some blockers on the board. We've got licorice twirls, swirls, plus more licorice swirls set to come down. If I take out licorice on a turn, no new licorice should form. But if I don't take out licorice and I make a move that vacates these areas, we might get licorice here. Sometimes we'll only get one coming down. Like let's say I put these three together. Sometimes we would just have one drop in a position. Sometimes we'll have three. It depends on the actual level. So that's something we're going to have to look at on this level. Also, sometimes there's a one or a two turn delay. And therefore that could help us because we don't need any of the licorice swirls on the board. It's not part of a collection. We want to keep them at bay as much as we can. We've also got waffles of various layers on the board and more waffles set to come down. Now for me, I have never seen a pattern as to when the waffles show up. So if you have, please share with us what you have found as far as when to expect these waffles. I just know that they're thick and they're dangerous. We've got a conveyor belt. We start with blue here. We go this way. It terminates in purple. And then I've got a purple here. So it looks like we're going to loop all the way around, right? That's one of the mechanics. And then I'm noticing I also have portals here interacting between these. I think these are going to be, of course, the most difficult areas to clear because we've got blockers on them. But then I'm concerned that if I clear this out, are these going to drop in and vice versa? So I've got a lot of learning to do on this board. I would love to make some specials and clear things out right away. I don't have that opportunity. I can't even remove any blockers. So let's just take out things along the edges. All right, so now I'm going to try to take out a little bit of waffle. That's good that we drop this down and get it onto the conveyor bring it out into the open. I don't have to remove every waffle and every licorice on the board, but of course it makes my job easier if I'm not battling them all the time. Because sometimes, like, if there's a waffle here, that doesn't bother me at all. There's no jelly under there. All right, so I'm going to see what happens with this portal system. Where is this going to come from? Does it come from here? If so, it would drop in a licorice. Does it come from here? If so, it's going to drop in a waffle. There's nothing here, so let's see what happens. It dropped in a waffle, and of course, because I cleared that out, it dropped it into this position. So now I know I have to be very careful about that. And that's going to be tough, because sometimes that'll probably be the only move you know, I, I can make, is to clear things out and then drop in worse things. Mm, not fun. So... Taking out the waffles as I go is a good idea. I could do this. It would hit this a bit, but it doesn't clear it out enough. I'm going to try to wait and use those green together. So I want to be a bit careful over here. Let's do this. It might all blow up at me, but no, it didn't. And now I've got green here. I do have waffles to follow shortly thereafter, and I am going to be making this stripe, but the stripe doesn't go too far. Let's see how this works. Oh. See, of course, we did bring that. But I'll beat it up. I'm just going to keep hitting it until it's gone. If I can switch it back over here, then it won't matter. Should I make this move, which would clear out a nice area here and make something happen here? Or should I hold on to this for some reason? What is my best choice? I have lots of different moves. I have to try to figure out the best one. I do think we get a, a lot of bang out of that one, so let's try it. I hate to see that there. Yep, let's go ahead and do this. The nice thing is at least we have quite a few moves on this board. Now I've got some decisions to make. This looks absolutely awful. The licorice has come through over here. I could make another wrapped candy. 
and then I could send this wrapped along this way and still maybe have a striped wrapped replacing a blue wrapped for the purple. Or I could just do the striped wrapped because if I do this it could be explosive and everything could blow up and ruin all of my plans. Or I could make a stripe along this way. That would blow everything up. I've got a lot of choices, but I think I should go for the most direct choice of using this. Now, if I pull over this way, it's going to take out this column, this column, and this column. And that would actually remove this jelly here. So if that waffle drops in, doesn't matter. That's interesting, because I need to get over to this side. Plus, of course, it's going to take off a layer here. It's going to clear this jelly out and this jelly out, and it's going to hit a licorice here. If I pull it over this way, it's not as valuable. So I'm going to pull this way, pull the purple into the orange. It's going to take out this column, this column, this column. I think that's the best approach for me. That worked out fairly well. All right, I can make a wrapped. I could make a stripe here, and I've got a lot of jelly to take out, but I can't resist the draw of the special here. And I still get to do this, and it still takes out licorice. Ooh, and I got a little bonus there. Because it would be so sad to clear all of these out and st still have jelly in here to take out. I don't have any over here. That's nice. How can I set up my colors? I really don't have too many options here. Oh, well, I'll do this and, ooh, hello, hope for something really good to happen like this. All right, so I'm pretty happy. It looks like a whole stream of those came down, but I can't be too disappointed at this point. I could take out all orange, and that would help here. Um, and it would help here. Oh, and it would help here. That's a pretty good one. I could take out green. That would help here. Or I could hold on to this. I could just bring it down. I don't really want to lose this opportunity that I'm about to take on the next run. And when I do something volatile like take out orange, just about anything could happen. But it's almost too good to pass up. There's a lot of good that can be done from that. And that blew up still in a good spot. As long as it didn't ruin the effect, and it didn't, I I'm liking that. This is tricky. I could do this, and I really, really like this, but I've got to take that while I've got the opportunity. I've got these guys almost cleared now. Here's where I'm going to vary. I could make a stripe here, and stripes are valuable. But I think I have to work over in this area. So let's do that. Mm, I don't like anything that I have available here. I don't want to do this because if this purple drops in and this purple drops in and then a purple drops here, I'll have that same explosive effect. I'll lose my special that's coming around this way, but I won't have the same benefit because I don't want it to detonate here like that wrapped candy detonated. It was a good thing for that wrapped to go. 10 moves, or 10 jelly left, 17 moves. Oh, I have time to experiment, although I don't want to get too... <sighs> I don't know, too comfortable with this. It's hard, I want to be able to match these up and I'm really struggling with not being able to clear things out here. How can I easily do that? I have to wait for good things to come along this way and it's just all filled with this junk. I just can't make anything happen here. Yeah, I really don't have very many choices. That's interesting. Two blue right here. If I could get a blue to come along. I don't have one yet. Let's take out licorice. The licorice is overwhelming the board. Oh. Yeah, I'll take this opportunity. I'm trying to get more blue into this area. So now let's see. I have three jelly left. One, two, three. Obviously, these are the two I'm most concerned about. I've got 12 moves, but I've got to bide my time for this purple to come, or this blue to come over. So let's play around up here. There's nothing I can do yet to take this out. If I do this, this blue drops away. I don't want that to happen. I'd love to use this to take this out, but again, not a good choice. Ah, okay. I see something wonderful. I can maybe match these two up and hit that. 
And I don't think this is going to curtail that opportunity. There we go. All right, so that's how I beat this level. It was a long one. It took me a while. Really have to measure your efforts on this, I think, and balance everything and really understand how these opposite areas work. And this is one where I think the more you experience it, the better feel you'll get for how the game plays. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.